Hey, what's going on, you guys? It's your boy Joe Blow Gaming here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a like and subscribe. As always, guys, I really do appreciate all of the support. Any questions, leave them down in the comments below. I'm gonna make this video as simple as uh, and easy for you guys. All right, so let's go ahead and hop into this. So the first thing you're gonna want to do, guys, is create a Minecraft server folder. You do need to create this, okay? So we can go ahead and drop all of the files we're gonna need in here, and it's very well organized when it's all in the server, and it's way easier. So create a Minecraft server folder, and then we're all good to go. Now, one thing you guys are going to have to do next is I have all the links in the description. You guys can go ahead and do them. So the first thing you're going to want to do, you need to download the Java SE Development Kit 16 for Minecraft 1.17.1 to be able to launch it. Um, go ahead, click in the link in the description. It'll bring you directly to here. Uh, if you scroll down on this page, you can see now that it's going to say Windows. Uh, if you have a Mac installer right here, if you have a Mac, do this one. Now, how do, how do you download this? Well, we're going to do with the Windows X64 installer. And then you just download it right here. You click this, install it to your computer, and then you're good to go. Now, the reason why we need to install this really quickly is because the new Minecraft 1.17.1 needs the Java SE development kit. Don't ask me why. They just... It said, when I first did it, it said you need to get Java 16. It's only compatible with Java 16. So make sure you get Java... Uh, SC development kit 16 right here. Okay guys once you've got that installed the next thing We're gonna have to go ahead and do is download our minecraft forge We're gonna obviously need now if you want to download fabrics as well You can but that's different if you guys want me to make a video on that. Let me know in the comments below But for the forge edition what we're gonna need is minecraft forge mc 1.17.1 now again link in the description should be the second link it's going to say installer right here. You click on it and then you're going to simply get this file right here, Forge. Once it's done downloading, you're going to drag it to your desktop like I did so right here. So I just click installer, it downloaded, and then I dragged it to my desktop right here. So now we have the Forge installer right here. Now, the last link what you're going to need to do is obviously download the Minecraft server. So this is on Minecraft.net. Guys, this is completely free. There's no harm to the server, to your computer. Okay, guys, do not worry about it. The only thing I need to be cautious about is careful about what mods you download. Now, most mods are completely fine. But again, if you download some sketchy mods that nobody downloads, then just be aware that that could be risky. Okay, guys. So right here, we have the download Minecraft server 1.17.1.jar. Click that. And then like I did here, you're going to drag it to your desktop like so right here. Okay, so now I have the server Minecraft 1.17.1 and we have the forge, which we're going to need. Now, obviously, if you're willing to mod, you're going to need a Minecraft mod for Minecraft 1.17.1. I used the Easy Plaguelings mods for this example. If you guys uh, haven't seen the, tutorial, the mod review, Joe's mod review, go check the video. I'll leave a link in the description. So now we have our server, Forge installer, and our easy plugin, and we downloaded Java SC development kit. Now, again, you don't need this mod. This is just the mod I prefer. As long as you have a mic the same version, you have to make sure that these are all the same version. Your Forge, your server, and your mods, okay? So now, what we're going to need to do is stay on this page right here. We need to copy this link, as always. If you guys watch my server videos, we always copy this, okay, guys? Now, the reason why I'm making this video, guys, is because they made it a little bit different now, okay? So it's a little bit different in regards of how Forge works in a server. And let me show you guys how, okay? So the first thing you're going to want to do here is drag your Minecraft server into your mo your Minecraft server folder, okay? Now, what we're going to do is right-click in here. We're going to go to New, Text Document. We're going to double-click it to open it. And then you're going to Command-Paste. You're going to Control-V, Paste the script, the command script that we just uh, copied and pasted. Now, one thing I recommend you guys do is tight pause under here because sometimes if it doesn't work what will happen is your command console will open up and then shut right away and i've had i've had a lot of people say that they have this issue so the first thing you're going to do is tight pause so if that is the case and um, when you do run the server it'll pause and tell you what the issue is now most of the time the issue is because you don't have java installed so make sure you have java installed for Minecraft 1.17 and under, you only need Java 8, the normal Minecraft, the normal Java, okay? So you can just simply search Google, Java download, and download that one. But for the 1.17 and up, we need to download the Java SC development kit like earlier in the video. So now that we have this, okay guys, I can't stress this enough. Never double click this file, okay? It will open the server, but that is not the way you should run your server, okay? Like I said, we have this command file right here, okay? So what you're going to do first things first is get rid of this, the 1024, and put 2048. That is two 
gigabytes. If you want to add more gigabytes, search up the gigabytes in regards of their numbers. And then if you need three gigabytes, it could be 3048, for example. All right. So now that we've changed our Minecraft server to two gigabyte, which is the best for starting the server, obviously it's not the best megabyte wise, but just to get the server going, this is what I prefer. Don't use one megabyte. So now we have to, now we want to run our server. Okay. Now what a lot of people do is usually they will double click this server file, which will open up the server and run, but that is not the best way of doing it. This way is the best. So how do we run this file right here? Well, this section right here is what it's basically asking us. What file do you want me to open? Okay. So now mine my file says server dot jar you don't see the dot jar it's sir it's a dot jar file but it just says server okay you can rename yours to whatever you want i just keep mine to server it's very simple and it's easy so now you can see it says server dot jar okay the reason for that is because like i said we need to make sure that we want to run this file okay and it needs to be the same so if this says Minecraft, for example, Minecraft.jar, okay, it needs to say the same thing because this, if this isn't the same right here and it doesn't say .jar, it will not open this file. It'll give you an error, okay? So now what we're going to have to do next is click file, save as. We're going to put run.bat or you could put start.bat, your choice. I just prefer run.bat. It's quicker. So run.bat, all files. There we go. So now we can delete our actual text document because now we have our run and our server file. So since we just created this, now we basically created a run command to be able to run this server. Okay. Because double clicking in it can give you a lot of issues. It's not the best way of doing it. So let's go ahead and double click the run. So as you can see, it's already starting to create some files. Okay. And again, if you guys have any issues, please don't be afraid to leave them down in the comments below. So at this point, it says fail to load ULA. The reason for that is we got to come here, double click the ULA and then change false to true, not true, true. There you go. Click file, save. And then let's, let's rerun our run command. So now as you can see, it's completely running the server on this side here. You can see it's getting everything loaded up in regards of the Minecraft server. Okay. Now I've been having a lot of, um, people telling me that when they double click the forge file, uh, when they click the forge file, when they add the forge into their Minecraft server, when they click on it, it doesn't do anything. Now I wanted to advise you guys that if you're going to do that, okay, you cannot run, you can't double click on the forge server. Okay. Like once you install forge to this file, okay, you're going to see forge server. Now it is a little bit different in this version. All right. And I'll show you in just a second, but I'm giving you, I'm, I'm, kind of, I'm trying to help you guys in regards of the, an issue that you guys might have. So this is more for Minecraft 1.17 and under, okay? Under Minecraft 1.17, you're going to get a forge file. Once you install this forge to your server, to be able to mod your server, you need to install forge to your server. You're going to get this forge file. In my last video on how to create a Minecraft server, modded server for 1.16.4, a lot of people were having the issue because they were saying when they would double click on their forge file, nothing would happen. Well, guys, what I have to, okay, so our server is done. So you can go ahead and type stop and that's it. It'll close the server. So basically what happens guys is you cannot double click on the forge file. If you get your forge file created, like I did in the video, you guys saw, I renamed that file to just forge to make it easier. And then I edited, I edit the run.bat. And instead of opening the vanilla server, I changed it to forge because we wanted to run the modded. Okay. So you can't double click the actual forge file you need to edit the run.bat don't ever run the server not on the run.bat okay you need to make sure it's run.bat so like i said earlier it's a little bit different now for minecraft 1.17 and up so what you're going to do now is since we've installed this you're going to double click on the forge 1.17.1 that uh, we installed forge earlier we downloaded it so like I was mentioning, you're going to have to install this to the server. So make sure it's not on install client. You click install server. Now you're going to click these three little dots right here. 
and then you're gonna go to wherever your minecraft folder is okay so mine's on my desktop right here my minecraft server okay the server file that we created earlier right here so you're gonna click open on that all right so now you can see it's it's detected this file right here okay because we want to install forge in this file all right so click OK when that's done. And now it's going to go ahead and install Forge to your Minecraft folder. Now, you guys will see in just a second what I meant by it's a little bit different now from Minecraft 1.17, okay? So once you're going to install the Forge, you guys will see in a second what will happen, all right, guys? Uh, I'll come back to you when this is done loading. All right, so now that you guys can see it successfully downloaded the Minecraft server and installed the 1.17 Forge to our folder. Now... You guys see how different it is? There isn't a mods folder or anything. There's no forge file. So you see how it's different a little bit? All we got is this user GVM, all right? And uh, this isn't necessarily too, too important. Uh, a good default for a Minecraft server is four gigabytes. So they're just giving you examples to setting the Minecraft gigabytes in your server. So what you're gonna do now is double click the run.bat. And look how it's different. You see how it read the job, the forge? Look, it created the mods folder. So you see how it's different now? You don't necessarily need to edit the forge file anymore. It will automatically run forge when you double click the run. Now, you guys will see in a couple seconds that a new command console will, that a new, you see right here how this command console opened up right here. This is the forge server. Okay, so it's basically the same thing, all right? So it's running Forge as they're both running, which is absolutely amazing. So boom, there you go. They're both done. So we can minimize these. And now you can see we have our mods folder. So what we're going to do now is we're going to stop the, stop the server. All right, so now the server is stopped. So like I said earlier with the mods, okay? So you need to make sure you downloaded a Minecraft 1.17.1 mod. Now we have to come to the search down here and type in Minecraft or type in um, run. And there you go. Now you're going to need to type in percent app data percent. Click OK. Now you're going to see this dot Minecraft. Click it. Now you also have to make sure that you already have Minecraft Forge installed on your client. You need to have Minecraft Forge 1.17.1 installed to your client i've already done this so all you do is you double click on the forge you click install client okay you open up your minecraft and then right here it'll say minecraft 1.17.1 forge click play and then once that's fully done loaded up and you're at the main menu you can close out the minecraft and then that's when you would go to your uh, that the reason for that is because we need to create this mods folder in our in our dot minecraft in our client if you guys haven't done already so make sure your forge is also installed to your client because you need to install the mods so as you guys can see i already have the easy piglins mod installed in my dot minecraft in my client not in the server but on my client because whatever mods you want to play you need to install them to your client so what i do is i copy and then paste it into my dot minecraft so i have it in my mods close it open up your server file right here again and now you can install the easy piglins mod in your server so now we have it installed in the server as well as in our client so now we need to run it and now you're going to be able to run the mods, okay? So everything's going to be all good from here on. Everything's going to load up. I'm going to go ahead and see you guys in the game. All right, guys. So as you guys can see now, we're in the Minecraft game. We're going to go ahead and click multiplayer here. What we're going to go ahead and do is add server. Now, you guys have to understand that I have not port forwarded the server. If you guys want to know how to port forward a server and play with your friends and send them your IP address, you need to go watch my other video. I'm going to leak a link in the description. It's how to port forward a IP address for your friends to join your Minecraft server. Now, locally, if you're running your server and you just want to join your server on your internet, all you have to do is type in zero, okay? And then you'll click done. And as you can see, the Minecraft server has now launched. Let's go ahead and join the server. All right, guys. So we have now entered the game. I have opt myself. If you guys don't know how to opt, you just have to open up your actual server command file like we ran it and type in OP 
your player name and then you should be opt so let's go ahead and see if the mod is actually installed so as you guys can see up here we have the easy piglins mod installed everything is all good to go so guys that's pretty much how you make a minecraft modded server um it is a bit different from minecraft 1.17 like i said because now they don't actually create the minecraft forge um, it's actually kind of easier because all you have to do now is install forge to your server run the run.bat and that's it you're done that's all you have to do and install the mods you don't have to re-edit your run.bat anymore you don't have to do anything like that it is so much easier and i like how they updated it like that it's a lot easier now all you need is java 16 download it run the server install forge to your minecraft server and then run the server again without having to do anything your mods will show up your mods folder and then add your f mods to your private client to your own client and the actual server itself and then that's it you're able to just run the server and your mods are installed guys that is it that is simply on how you actually install a how to create a minecraft server so if you guys want to know any more videos and tutorials on how to do anything in regards to minecraft let me know down in the comments below i'd really appreciate that guys and you guys know i try to answer every single comment and try to help you guys out as much as possible in regards of answers and questions so i really do appreciate it guys i hope you guys have an amazing day and if this video did help you please make sure to give it a like it really does help me a lot and i really appreciate when you guys do that so thank you guys so much and i hope you guys have an amazing day adios guys